How's it going everybody? Tony here from Kapowcast bringing you another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer. And I have to say, first glance I'm, I'm already digging this paint job and, and, and this sculpt. So, uh, spoiler right there. But before we dive into this, uh, real quick, if it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the bell for notifications so that you're notified every time that we drop a new review or an episode of our podcast or anything else here on this YouTube. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at this figure. All right, and for starters, we have the normal Lightning Collection box with our Ranger Slayer right there in the front with the graphic over here on the side that wraps around to the other side. And you got your display of the action figure there in the back with all your Lego mumbo jumbo. Another art piece of the <coughs> Ranger Slayer, nothing on the top. And then nothing on the bottom, so let's get her open and check it out. Alright, so for accessories, your Ranger Slayer comes with its power effect, or her power effect, which is essentially the same thing as Kimberly's uh, that came with it, but just a little bit more of a fluorescent pink. You got your triple, triple arrow, triple quill, triple, actually no, the quill's the thing that you put in the air, whatever. You got triple arrows. Um, which is pretty cool. We have this this makes me mad <laughs> We have a collapse blaster Why couldn't we get collapse blasters with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? I don't know, but here's a collapse blaster Jesus. Uh, You got a Haya hand Got the Haya hand you got a fisted hand and then you have her double-sided sword slash bow that kind of looks like the sword of darkness that comes with the green ranger and that's it for your accessories and there we have our ranger slayer out of the box and i have to say i am a sucker for a black on pink or black on green or black pretty much uh whatever color on black um paint job so this already looks awesome to me because of the black on green but as we get in closer i will show you some really cool kind of like battle damage uh, kind of scarring to the armor that they went in and sculpted uh, but the overview here from first sight she looks good I love the cape the cape is kind of uh, just kind of clipped on there it's not really uh, pegged on there or anything it just kind of comes off and comes puts back on just kind of sits nicely around her neck uh, no big issues with me from there I can see Later on down the line, it maybe uh, kind of becomes weak and loose because you remove it, you un you put it back on, put it put it on, put it off, put it on, put it off, you know that kind of thing. Love the uh, tattered and worn look to the cape. I don't like neat capes, hence why I don't like Superman. Fight me. And I can say that the accessory getting it in her hand was a bit tough. The thumb was the problem there, but. As soon as you kind of maneuver it around, just like any other of the Hasbro figures, it sits in there pretty nicely. So let's take a closer look and check out the paint details that I was talking about. All right, so we'll start up here with the helmet. No real defects on the helmet. I would say that these are probably going to... They'll have more negative points with me because uh, this one is obviously from the comics, so uh, there's not a lot of real-life mess-up that can happen. There is some kind of... Uh, black maybe not uh quite good co uh coating of the paint there at the tail end of the uh, of the helmet there uh the gl high gloss black we'll take this off just for the sake of things high gloss black looks really good on the helmet i think uh, it looks fantastic um silver in the mouth looks great two little two little eyes there on the top look pretty good Moving downwards on her arms. I, I really love this this scheme. This part's a little weird to me, but it's it's not it doesn't hurt any. But here's what I'm talking about with the battle damage on the armor itself. You can kind of see the scratches and the nicks in the armor. I think that's a really, really, really cool touch, and I really enjoy that. It's just really it's the kind of the small things. You got more on the knee guards here. Uh, you don't really have any anywhere else besides these two spots, but I really enjoy those things Once again, pretty good detail inside the morpher there Belt is 
seems to be actually attached on these characters and not really free floating. I've had a couple of my rangers where the belt was free floating, but not too bad. And let's uh, jump into a quick articulation. All right, so articulation wise, it's no new tricks. Heads on a ball joint, go up, down, side to side. Arms can go all the way around. Uh, no bicep cut, but you got your elbows, single jointed elbows. And swivels there. Got your wrist swivel and hinge. You got your diaphragm there. Swivel all around, do the twist. And then you got second diaphragm, which you can bend it all the way back, limbo style. Doesn't really go much forward, but still not too shabby. Uh, you have thigh, thigh cuts that are very nicely hidden. I have to say, you don't get a lot of turn in them, but still, the fact that they're nicely hidden is a big plus. They can go up that much, go back that much. Got your double jointed knees, and then you got your hinge in the ankle, and then the ankle rocker. Ankle rocker. And that is it for articulation. And for comparison shots, here she is next to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger. Pretty much her clone ranger. And then there she is by Lord Draken. I think the only comparison anybody actually cares about. And then of course, why not, but a comparison shot with Pantless Deadpool. Because he was just up on that shelf, just staring down, checking her out like a perv. Okay, so all in all, I, I do, I like this figure. Uh, it does suffer from most of the issues that most of the Lightning Collection has had. Uh, every one that I've got, there's at least one joint, maybe two, that are already loose. So then I have to put, you know, some floor wax and tighten them back up again. Um, warping of the joints from the shrink packaging. Uh, once again, this one suffers from that too. I don't really, besides for that one spot, I don't, I didn't really see any, uh, issues with paint or anything of that matter on mine. I hope that one day that it'll get to the level of quality that maybe we see in the Marvel Legends line. A little bit more t tighter on the quality of the paint apps and all that stuff, but I don't really have any issues. I, I am kind of uh, peeved that we have a collapsed blaster for this character, but we can't seem to get collapsed blasters for the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger line other than the SDCC uh, exclusive with the Jason uh, two pack, but okay, whatever <laughs> I guess. But uh, it, it is it, it does peeve me a little bit. Uh, but that'll do it for this review. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, and uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications if you feel the need to. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>